Hello students, in this video we have fifth illustration of chapter 5. Uh, I'll not read out the question. Uh, let me explain the diagram. The diagram is uh, this each arrow is a tiny magnet. So if I consider, uh, see, there is one magnet at the at the P point and uh, arrow is indicating its magnetic dipole moment. So you can say that you are given different situation. In one situation, you have one magnet kept like this, say north and south and uh, Q4. Uh, here is the Q4 and uh, it is facing it. Q4 is facing the north south here. So uh, what we can say about uh, this situation of P and Q4? See, in this condition, uh, north and north of the two are facing each other and so obviously they are not comfortable. So if you are asked potential energy, uh, what should be the answer? Potential energy uh, should be more. Okay, um, these magnets are definitely not comfortable with each other. And uh, is it uh, stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium? So it has to be unstable equilibrium. Similarly, if I talk about P and Q1, so if I have a magnet here, look at Q1, uh, here is Q1, so what I can say about P and Q1. Now here, force on North Pole and force on South Pole will not be same. So what will happen, this uh, magnet will experience torque as well as a resultant force and so it is definitely not uh, equilibrium condition okay so pq1 is not equilibrium condition and uh, that is true with pq2 also if you look at q2 q2 is on the other side and uh, south is here north is here but again uh, it will rotate it will move but what if i look at q5 q5 is here Now, for this, uh, let me draw another diagram. Uh, first, I think I should take uh, other magnet, uh, Q6. Let us first take Q6. Q6 is here. Now, this is the most desirable uh, situation for any two magnets, where south of one magnet is facing north of another. This is the most comfortable situation for two magnets, and so potential energy for PQ6 configuration must be minimum and this is stable uh, equilibrium. PQ4 is unstable equilibrium, PQ6 is stable equilibrium. In PQ4 potential energy is maximum, for PQ6 potential energy is minimum. What about PQ1 and PQ2? Not equilibrium condition. Okay. Now uh, let us talk about PQ5 and PQ3. What is PQ5? PQ5 is a condition in which you have one magnet with north-south like this and other magnet with north-south oriented in same uh, direction. So now what happens is here is the uh, north pole is uh, giving out field line and then here there is a repulsion. Okay, so this is not desirable condition from magnet's point of view if you see this is not desirable condition and so this is not uh, an equilibrium condition and potential energy is also not uh, low. But if we see, uh, so this is uh, unstable condition, okay, this is not stable one. And uh, if we look at the other situation, PQ3, this is P and uh, Q3 is on the right side north is down. So in this case what happens is the field lines coming out from north of P will enter into south of Q3 and the field lines coming out from north of Q3 will enter into P. So this is like closed loop. Uh, magnetic circuit is said to be closed and so this is uh, equilibrium condition. Okay. So what are the questions in which uh, configuration system is not in equilibrium? In which configuration system is not in equilibrium? So 
system is not in equilibrium for these two conditions of PQ1, PQ2 are the conditions where equilibrium cannot be expected. Second question, which configuration uh, where we have stable and unstable equilibrium? So, PQ4 unstable, PQ6 stable. Okay? And uh, even this is unstable equilibrium, which one it is? P with Q5, whereas P with Q3 is stable one. And uh, C question, which configuration corresponds to lowest potential energy? Lowest potential energy is this one, PQ6. Okay, no, south is facing north and uh, given choice magnet would not like to move from this situation. So it is the most comfortable situation, minimum potential energy. So uh, that is all about uh, illustration 5.5. Thank you.